Welcome back to Looking at Hollywood starring Skippy Lowe. How do I look? Do I look trashy? Because we've got a girl who starred in the movie Trash, one of the last surviving Andy Warhol superstars. She's so big that she's written a great book, and it's called A Low Life in High Heels. And anyone who wants to tell you that they're a personal low life in high heels deserves my black gloves. So let's eavesdrop carefully on Hollywood Lawn with Skippy Lowe. Fifteen years old, I can't believe it. Fifteen years old, as a young boy living in Miami Beach. Miami, yeah, Miami Beach, yeah. Miami Beach, tough town. Mm. I mean, that is tough. Horrible. My moon was not over Miami. Well, this was in my, <laughs> uh, the early, in the early, what? Early 60s. Early 60s. Yeah. Went to New York, hitchhike, Hitch bus, uh -huh. hitchhike. Well, uh, okay. It started uh, as a young boy, though, 15. 15 and a half. Going to New York time. City. Come on, Hollywoodland. Tell me. Star. Well, actually, I hit. I, I took a bus, a Greyhound bus, to to Brunswick, Georgia, and uh, whoops, I, yeah, it was tossed. Well, only eleven dollars. Right. I had so, uh, and it was tossed tossed off the bus in the middle of this thunderstorm, and I I was hit by lightning. Actually, a coke machine next to me was hit by lightning. <laughs> But I, I, you know, I mean, like I said, Florida was hideous. I went right. away. I went to go to New York because uh, Cleopatra with Elizabeth Taylor was opening at the Rivoli Theater. Right. Um, ever since I, uh, actually, it all started when I was 10 years old. I saw Lana Turner and the Prodigal. Right. And uh, I said, this is it. This is why I speak glamour. I'm a temple, temple person. I'm mm -hmm. a, you know, I have to, you know, mm -hmm. mm. go somewhere. I don't know. For some, I don't know. And why your name was then what? Um, Arnold? Or? No. What? <laughs> what was Harold. It? Harold. 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 Your name was Harold. Little Harito. Harold. Yeah, you're Puerto Rican. Now you know why I changed it to Holly. Ah, ah, Puerto Rican. Mm -hmm. You're from Puerto Rico. I'm confused. Puerto Rico. Ah. A little Puerto Rican. Yeah. So go ahead. Then you, what happened then, Harold? Um, so anyway, I saw all these movies and I just, I, I know, I, I, it never dawned on me to like hitchhike to uh, Hollywood. Right. New York because of Cleopatra and Elizabeth right. Taylor. Right, right. And so uh, I only had $11, and that's as far as the Greyhound bus would take me. And so from then on, um, I was with a friend, this mad queen with, with the eyebrows that went up here named right. Russell and, and long nails. And <laughs> I used to, I was always, uh, <laughs> Russell Seaborn, I was always in awe of, of, of him and wanted to be like him. So anyway, after this, he was an older time, person, naturally. Uh, you were 15, he was older. He, 15, he, I was 15 and a half, he was 15 and three quarters. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so you're at the same age. No, actually, I think he was about. 16, 17. Okay. And uh, so uh, that night, oh, so anyway, we were, this, this, we were in the middle of the thunderstorm and uh, we were going to start hitchhiking. And the lightning hit this cup machine and I was thrown like 30 feet and this big, big uh, fat woman from this motel that, right. you know, came and uh, gave us a room for the night because she was scared that, you know, I don't know why. That Two boys, the young boys, 15 years old. Damn. Did they take Had a no license place to away? Sleep. She was probably selling drugs in the back. Right. Anyway, so that night, um, uh, I shaved my legs and plucked my eyebrows. And I don't know that's how when it and all that's began. And became from Harold to Holly. Yes. Oh! And then Lou is Reed that, wrote a song that, about it. <laughs> is that when it all began, that that's night? That's when it all began. <sighs> Yeah, you didn't I do it in Miami at all and at that time? You didn't no, do it? I was too scared. I mean, you know, if you knew Miami then, you just... So you didn't do it. So you just shaved your legs and did the <laughs> uh -huh. eyebrows and left that camp and went uh, to yeah. New York. And stuck my thumb out. Tell me, <laughs> <laughs> tell me when you arrived in Manhattan, a when you full, got off a that A full bus. blast woman. <laughs> yeah, really? No, uh, no. <laughs> for, well, for the 60s, uh, you know, I may as well have been. Did you, did you get off at Port Authority? Did you get off the bus there? Actually, no. Uh, uh, we, uh, a trucker. A gave trucker. Us, gave us our, a, left ride, a, a our last ride. Oh, by one point, we were picked up by four Marines, and Russell had a fabulous <laughs> time in a little motel with them. And it's stupid that I was at that time. I was like, you know, very quiet. I'm like, oh, at 15 uh, years well, old. So. Yeah, I thought, that, well, they were going to throw us off the side and, Go ahead. You know, and we'd okay. be found in pieces. But Russell had a divine time with the boys. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so we, somehow or another, we ended up in New York City about a week later. Right. In, in one piece. Right. Uh, in Times Square, and I remember, um, the, you know the park on uh, Bryant Park. It's behind the uh, the library oh, on Fifth course, Avenue. Of course, of course. Little teeny park. That little park. Well, when I arrived, everybody I, goes to that little park on sit on. It's on. Uh, it's actually in forty. Six, it's on Forty Second Street. Exactly. It's on Forty Second uh -huh. between Six and American and it's Avenue. Sorry, behind right, right behind the, the, the right. big library. Well, That's I thought that was Central Park. Right. 
So I, I lived there for about <laughs> <laughs> You stayed there. I thought that was <laughs> That's how much I knew. I love it. <laughs> well, I learned real quick. Yeah. I learned real quick. But, um, so what happened now? Well, for, I mean, New York City at that time, well, I did what everybody does, you know. I know. These poor the, little kids, you know, you have to, you know, the things they have to do. Did you get involved in drugs at that I age? I got involved in everything. Really? I, yeah. I had to sell my little chochita at 15 You sold everything. You <laughs> everything. really did it all. I sold and everything. <laughs> my jewelry, my diamonds, my furs. <laughs> I how sold did it you, all. When I how did you <laughs> meet Andy Warhol at that time? And I just... Let's get back. Yeah, well, God, I, I mean, that's why, that's what, the, you know, my book is about. I mean, I was lucky enough to, like, be living in New York during the height of those eras, the 60s, with, right. the, you know, I mean, the Stonewall riots. I was, right. I was in the middle of that. You certainly were. And uh, Woodstock, and, of course, during the, the underground, the Andy Warhol era with all the superstars right. and um midnight cowboy do you remember the movie midnight cowboy when do. they went cruising down 42nd street looking for weren't they were looking for I was some people. one of those little hallways yeah, they were know? looking for one of those people to come up to the party remember uh -huh. that party scene yeah i sure do that's that was just with, that's was the kind of life you lived that was it that was it am i right very much yeah Hanging around 42nd Street, must when I first came here. Tough that street. But then, you know, then I then I met Candy Darling, Jackie Curtis, and then they they introduced me to Andy You're Warhol, and we used to Jackie Curtis did, mm -hmm. and, and Danny and yes. Candy, and right. uh, we used to hang out in uh, a place called Max's Kansas City, which was Down. the home in and the I village, towards the village. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. And right. Uh, that's where all the beautiful people, all the. Why do they say beautiful people? Uh, because, uh, well, uh, because everybody was always on the cover of Vogue. Everyone was, everyone was a movie star. Everyone was a model. Everyone right. was famous. Everyone was rich. Everyone was beautiful. beautiful. Everyone was dripping in diamonds. Uh -huh. That's when you could walk the streets and, you know, right, and, right. and jewelry. Um, what was your first meeting with Andy? When, my, oh. Your first, very first meeting. Who, <laughs> who introduced you and how did that, it all happen? He said Tell that me. face. I said that wig. Where'd you get it from? Is that what he <laughs> said? <laughs> you said that? Tibet? <laughs> did you really well, say you that? Well, you know, wig? Andy's <laughs> white hair was like... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Actually, I met Andy at a screening of uh, Flesh that Candy right. and Jackie were, were in with Joe Right, right. And it was funny because I was like really nervous. I, some friends of mine took me right. because they said, oh, wait till uh, Andy meets you. You, you know, you'll be his next superstar. Right. And of course, I want to be one. And so I remember, you know, in like the sea of all these heads and stuff and all these, you know, Chardonnay drinking people. And, and uh, I remember Nico, this tall, Swedish, very, right. you know, right, ice right. woman standing there. So I was just in awe of all, all, all these wonderful, fabulous, you know, strange people. Right. And there at the end, on top of all this, was this little tuft of white thing. Uh -huh. Just sort of like, like, <laughs> and, and, and it was, it was Warhol, it was Andy. He Warhol. speaks soft, doesn't he? The first thing he said to me was, uh, what's your name? That's soft. Softly. Oh. Real softly. You, you look so, so glamorous. Uh -huh. mm. And what did you say? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody asked. Her. He said. He, he said. He said. What's your name? I said. Uh, Holly. He said. Oh well. Do you have a last name? I went. Um. No. But the next time you meet me, I will. <laughs> How did you get Hollywood? <laughs> well, How did you become well, Holly, Hollywood? Okay. okay. Holly came from. Um, First. Go ahead. Miami, FLA. No. Holly was from the Truman. How to go lightly. How to go lightly. Trimming Trim Trim breakfast oh, and Tiffany. Sure. Breakfast at Tiffany, of course. Because for a while there, we all thought we'd be right. discovered in front of ah, Tiffany. So that's six where Holly in the morning, came from. You know. Okay. And, and, and of course, I used to whistle for, uh, huh. for cats. Cats, like right. 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 And then the woodlawn came from, actually came from an episode of I Love Lucy. Right. Uh, the, the, one, the, the episode where she's got the, the, the urn on her head, the loving cup. Uh, it's stuck on okay. her head. No, I don't She's remember. Their head, I don't know. Go anyway, ahead. well, at one point, she's sitting on the subway, and behind her is, it, it's, uh, uh, it says Woodlawn. Oh, okay. And the last stop on the train is the Woodlawn Cemetery. Oh, right. right. In the Bronx. Right, oh. right, right. So this was right after I had met Andy, right. and we were trying to figure out right. a last name for me. Uh -huh. And with all sorts of things that were like uh, Holly Garbo, uh -huh. you know, uh -huh. Holly everything but um we saw this and we said aha uh -huh, how fabulous holly Woodlawn. holly woodlawn that's great that's great and plus the another thing was that most of the the um andy warhol female movie stars were right heiresses right uh, ultraviolet uh international velvet you know what kind of woman was ultraviolet 
Very French. Very, very... This is the one that was in trouble, wasn't she? Was it the uh, one... Could you tell me who Ultraviolet is? Because I don't think maybe everyone knows that. I don't know. Oh, Ultraviolet is one of, one of okay. Andy's, uh, one of his uh, female superstars. People are very, very big female superstar. Mm -hmm. So anyway, they were all heiresses. Right. So anyway, so back to the Woodlawn Cemetery. So I thought, oh, fabulous, Holly Woodlawn, this way. I'll be an heiress, too. Right. At heiress to the Woodlawn Cemetery fortune. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> all that, all that marble and granite and and real estate and who and who and who can contest it? That's right. Who Absolutely. Can contest it? That's very funny. So that's how Holly Woodlawn the, was born. Yeah. So Andy Warhol put you in the film Trash first film. Uh, yeah, actually with um, Joe D'Alessandro. With Joe D'Alessandro, but Ooh. it was um, it was Paul Morrissey uh -huh. who at that point uh, because after uh, Warhol was was shot. Uh, the entire factory. You were around that at the time when he got shot? I came right after. After. Right after. Because before then, the factory itself right. was more like a, a party scene. It was with lots of drugs right. and lots of parties and stuff. Did Andy take a lot of drugs? I don't think he took He took anything. Anything. I Am I right? I don't know. I don't Did think he drink Andy, at all? Uh, you didn't that white wine You'd, or whatever oh, but that's I was, it oh no not not uh, you know it was uh, you know and the thing the funny thing about it, it was the people around war the, the, the satellites what, surrounded him they were the ones that they were protected fabulous. Him. they protected him didn't Plus they? they were the one because andy himself was very quiet very, uh, very. nothing that's absolutely nothing you know, that's true annie the people around absolutely. him that were fabulous they were the ones they were the ones, they they were the ones. he surrounded he was like an yeah. observer huh? yeah Actually. they were the andy mm -hmm. warhols am i correct uh, exactly and yeah. Yeah, and the fact that uh, he attracted all these incredible people mm -hmm. right I mean, besides the fact that he's also was a genius at, at commercial and Why do you think he got shot stuff. that time when that girl got upset? Why did she well, get those, upset? Oh, well, first of all, I mean, if you would... Um, she was really angry her, at him. She was, yeah. She, well, she was a very sick, crazed woman. She a was. A real mental case, yeah. Uh -huh. But the thing is, this is another thing that before, you, you know, uh, Andy, the people that he was hanging out with, that he let allow into his life, into, into that, right. were a lot of drugged out crazy i mean really uh people that belonged in in mental in way yes yeah. why did he ha why did he let those kind of people into his life and he did not let madison avenue people he he was afraid of those people because, uh, really well, because he was afraid were, of those because people they were exciting and madison was boring I mean, is it real really? is do you think so <laughs> is yeah. it boring he liked the excitement because was he wasn't. All that. Yeah, I mean, because was Andy thinking. wasn't exciting. He no, was not he exciting. Was nothing. I mean, he just he was a little peasant boy from Pittsburgh. That's right. Took a bus, went to, went to New, New York. York like That's I right. did. Absolutely. Wow. Took the same so bus. I, I went hit to my New York. <laughs> same <laughs> as Madonna. Did. Madonna did the same thing. Uh -huh, got yeah. off the bus with a bag and got into New York and start making her thing and that's what happened to Madonna. Sure. So Woodlawn, I remember Andy Madonna Warhol, this music. is what happened. They don't come to Hollywood mm. to do that. It's hard It's hard to come to Hollywood to do that. You go to New York yeah. to do that, to be right. successful. Am because I, I think Why? so. Well, first of all, I mean, in Hollywood you get so lost. I mean, because you have to be beautiful and strong or whatever, right. you know. And because uh, um, I'm, you know, because now that I'm living here, it's like a but New Are York. Are you living here now? Yeah, I've been here for three years now. Three? Oh. Do you like it? Book. Love it. What makes you love it and leaving New York? Because uh, New York is well, a great city. Um, yeah, okay, it's the greatest city in the world. I know. I was just there. I was there. I was just there. What a couple of weeks ago, and I just couldn't wait to get back. But you know what? As far as I'm concerned, now, I, I did everything you there did was to do in New York. Yeah. There to me, uh, after, after a week, you've done it. Yeah. You know, I as see. far as New York is concerned. I see. Yeah. Show, and, you go ahead. And everybody's here. I everybody see. from New yeah, York. From New York you know, is here I mean, now. Now yes. that now that the airline, you know, now it's like right, you right. know. Joe Delisandra. Let's talk about Joe Delisandra. Yeah. Trash. Yeah. What kind of he guy? Was he, cute, he's, a, he? he's a good guy. Yeah. How did he? How did Andy and him get close together? Because Joe's living here now. Right. Yeah. He's married. He's acting, has Could you tell child, us a little bit for some of us who don't know who Joe Delisandro is? Oh, exactly. Annie. Of course, everybody knows Joe Delisandro. Let's not oh, get into that. Of course, it is Joe <laughs> Delisandro. We'll read the book, Annie. We'll show you. Show Joe Delisandro. <laughs> okay, we'll show the book later. Everybody knows Joe Delisandro. He, was, matter of fact, he worked as a cab driver for a while. Uh -huh. He's had some tough times. Tell me about Joe Delisandro. How did he meet Andy? Do you know? No, I don't. I mean, he, that was before because before. After, when I came there, he had already done Flesh. He did Flesh. He did a and, he did a movie in, and uh, I think in uh, when up in the four, uh, or, yeah, Cherry Grove. He did the film in Cherry Grove. Did you go mm. to Cherry Grove at Andy's place in Cherry Grove, up in the uh, Montauk in, in Long Island? Yeah, yeah Long Island. Yeah, you did go up there mm -hmm. once. Once. Any parties up there? Crazy parties? 
Um, oh yeah, well, a lot I of crazy a, parties up there. Sure, I mean, you know, I mean, you go to Andy's and what? Uh, I meant orgies, Austin. orgies, parties. I'm talking about. Oh no, orgies. no, no, no. It, it was too. It was very civilized. But it uh, was. Yeah, I see. He was civilized then. Very, very. But he was also into this whole into commercialism. What? The, well, the whole uh, going out with society and you know, all that. Is that what made you think? What did Andy Warhol with the Campbell soup? It's to me. I still can't believe it baffles me. It baffles you my too? mind, but it's very easy to <laughs> baffle my mind. <laughs> not, that is not I don't get it. I really yeah. never did. But then you know what? That's well, art. Who am I? What's exactly. Art, you know? Exactly. It's what they claim this art you know, is I, art. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Lana Turner's toilet paper. You know, it's, it's will probably sell for you know baseball cards. What makes these things? You know, these worthless things worth something. Hollywood money? Lawn. Tell me, you wrote this book. This book called A Low Life in, in High, High Heels. Heels. <laughs> now, a low life, come on. Is that like living through a sewer and a glass bottom boat? Oh, darling, this one, yes. I mean, is it? Oh, it was Have pretty, you really pretty low. I mean, it's also, it was pretty high, too. I, you know, very I mean, low and very high. But, uh, what is the low point of your life? I know you left at 15. The lowest point you, I mean, you, you, know, you were selling your body at 15 in New York City, and you had no place to sleep on the streets, and, and this... And this Park, I mean, it must have been tough at age fifteen. Where was your family at that time? Back uh, in well, I had run away from home. I you just, ran I, away. I didn't keep in touch with them. I was just, I was, you know. So I had, they had no idea. Going back, you sorry you ran away from home? Would you say? Would you? Would you? No, I'm no. Come on, think no, about. It. Think no, you're not. I do it, I, so you do it the same I, way? Yeah. I'm you're happy. You've I, I was lucky. I really didn't. You know, I, I'm very close to my my parents right now. Right. Very close. That's great. Uh, so I wasn't an abused child. I just, you know, I was. Just, you wanted to see life. Yeah, I was. You wanted I to just, get those heels on, get exactly, those legs out there, just, and just have a ball. I just knew there was something better out there. I'm still certain. Did you find <laughs> something better out there, uh, Hollywoodland? Uh uh, yeah, I've been many times. I have, you know. Oh, certainly better than Miami, except, well, now Miami Beach is really nice. You know? Nice. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. That little area This there. picture of this book. <gasps> Beautiful It's Dietrich. Picture. Very, very Dietrich. Oh, Are you yeah. seeing this? The Look last time I, I was in San Francisco very doing a book signing, and this man looked at it and he said, oh, that's Mylena Dietrich. It does. And it's he thought I had written a book about her. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> that picture. I said, no, no, that's me. I mean, <laughs> <It's you. laughs> I wrote the book. He said, oh, yes, I'm Dietrich. Uh -huh. And I said, no, 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 that's me. He said, oh, you look like her. Tell me about your miserable life. So you had some miserable times in your well, life. Well, you see, a good thing about I, I don't. I never did. I mean, because I, I the wonderful thing about living things and then, then having to write about them is because you always remember... I, I, I'm just I'm, I'm completely optimistic about everything. I you know I see you know it, it's a hysterical book by the way. What it's do you mean by hysterical? Hysterically what? funny. It's, it's a very it's funny, a funny because book. Even, even my low you know I mean there was a point. Uh, a, a matter of fact, uh, in, it's in the book that uh, this guy was coming out of Max's Kansas City, uh, who later turned out to be a friend of mine, and I was like cr I was like bombed. I was right. like crawling <laughs> up. Right. Was it from the from the the gutter, I think, right. to the sidewalk, a little <laughs> thing. I was like, you know, trying to get up on the thing. Uh -huh. And he looked down and he said, well, what are you trying to do? I said, I'm trying to get over this wall. Uh -huh. And uh, <laughs> to me, I think that says it all. So I, but, yeah. um, it's just you as a little boy. That's me. Uh, yeah, I want to show five this. Years old in Is it Rico. really? Oh. Look at that. Can I get the camera on this? Uh, can I get the camera on this? That was when Look you were Harold? That. Little Harito. This is it. Harito. Is it on me or not? <laughs> I don't see it on me, but that's okay. There we go. Yeah. See it? That's you. Oh. And who's wow. this over here? Uh, oh, that's my that's my grandmother. That's me, and that's my uncle Virgilio. He's he's another and one. And who's that, the, who's that's Who's those two people? What's those three people there? Now show me. What's those people there? That's my aunt, my grandmother, and me. Oh, that's you as a little boy. Uh huh. Where was this? In Miami? No, uh, Puerto in Puerto Rico. Rico. In San Juan? Uh, no, um, Ponce. Ponce. And this is you as. That's me. That's As you. A 35-year-old person. 35 years old. Trying to, oh, trying to make it. Trying to be butch. Is you're trying to be butch? Is <laughs> is Hollywood lawn butch? Do you feel butch? I'd pick myself up. Do you if feel I saw butch? It, saw that Hollywood yeah, lawn? Yeah, very you attractive. Feel butch? Do you feel butch? Uh, you should have seen me Sunday trying to. I, <laughs> <laughs> I, they gave me a driver's license in this town, so I got a car, and uh, um, and you had and to my brake has been screeching. So my my next door neighbor, who also wrote the book with right. me, Jeffrey Copeland, 
So we took the tire off the, the car, right. and I washed the car, and yeah, and I, and I changed the brakes. I put brake pads great, on the brake. Yourself? Great. Talk about butch, baby. That's wow. good. I left the <laughs> well, he did all the work, but I just acted. How like about him. Divine? Divine and you oh. were very close. Oh, Tell yeah. me about Divine. Divine was Divine. She was he one, really? Like, yeah, I liked Divine a lot. We, we, what makes we did makes you like together. Divine? What? Because uh, I can never get into his movies. I'm sorry. Oh, I can get into your movies, but no. I can get into his films. Uh, I saw. Go ahead. Well, the thing about Divine is, that, see, I lived with Divine and I worked with Divine. You and lived with underneath him? all that. Divine. Yes. Was a really uh, sad and you know very lonely person. He was. Yeah. Because Divine won. Wanted to be skinny. I mean, divine. Wanted he to wanted to be skinny. I see. Yeah. I see. And, uh, and Andy, tell me about Andy. Uh, what's this? What's this? You're opening at the Rose Tattoo. Come on. This the twenty third. You're opening at the Rose Tattoo, the twenty third. Uh -huh. And you're, where is o'clock. that? In West Hollywood. Uh huh. It's and now changed. It's it is now called the Rose Garden Performing Center. Rose Garden <laughs> Performing. <laughs> Did you get that name? Foundation. Um, <laughs> <my honey. laughs> it's one of the West Hollywood uh, clubs here in town. Yeah. Tell me, what's your right. act? Michael Greer, Michael who is Greer. great. Oh, great. Cool. He wrote the whole act for you? Oh, no, we what? wrote it together. Together, okay. We wrote Go it ahead. together, and he directed. Uh, well, we just, well, Michael and I just finished doing this. Well, we did it several months ago. Uh, what? This thing called Elegies for uh, Angels, Punks, and, and, and Raging Queens. Really? Where was this and at? This was, uh, we did it at Club 22, but uh, it was at the. Uh, well, I'd um, love to see that. Um, yeah, you did come I to see it. It was about the, the AIDS quilt. The, we that's played, right. The, I did come to see it. Uh, of course, of course. Uh -oh, Hello, Skippy. <laughs> it, I walked out because, I'll tell you, I did walk out. It was a very you know strange... Why? I walked out why? because it was very depressing. It was for the AIDS thing. It I was. remember. They were all sitting around on the stage and... They were yeah. about the quilt, you know, each oh, name. Right. We all it played was, different. It wasn't all depressing at all. Wasn't it? I no, thought, well, I didn't stay. stay. I didn't stay. stay. Because I, I came stay. out and I sang. I played. Uh, uh, I went with uh, Gigi Gaston, and I left. Uh -huh. and I, and I oh, just, Gigi, yes. Gigi was yes, there, yes, and I, I left, and I just, I, I, I just, uh, we have enough of the AIDS thing. I know it's But this was different because this was, it wasn't, that's the whole thing was, it wasn't felt, depressing. It was, it was, I, I understand. I it was a very understand, you know. I really, Hollywood Lawn, yeah. it was very, very depressing. I've yeah. lost so many friends, and I'm sure you oh, have, too. Darling, I mean, but yeah. I just I just didn't want to sit through that particular evening. I, now, who is this? But you'll sit through who my show. Story? Yes, yes. Talk about depressing. That's somebody in a casket. Um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> let's talk about him. She's got, oh, Jackie Curtis. <laughs> Jackie Curtis, yeah. Your friend, I, Jackie I told the publishers, Curtis. I didn't want that. Put, I didn't oh, want that, please. That why did you? Oh, they put this picture of Jackie in there? Oh, mm -hmm. my Lord. And that's in the bathroom. And this is... Can we see? And this is... <laughs> this is her in the bathtub. This need is a bathtub her. for the bathtub scene. Oh, the bathtub wow. scene. I love it. Look at that. Uh -huh. That's These great. These are great photos. Yeah. Yeah. Who published this? St. Martin's. St. Martin's. St. Martin's. Great. They do. They're, they're very good. They're very good. Yeah. And a matter of fact, we just, we just sold the paperback rights to uh, um, Harper. Harper Collins. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Tell me more about your nightclub act. What's, uh, so, what's well, it about? It's because uh, uh, I, I used to do cabaret in the seventies when it course. was at the height. Right. You know Sweeney's right. in New York. One of the best. Uh -huh. mm. Did you work that? You worked. No, it. but I know mm. of it. Sure. Yeah, of course. Go ahead. And uh, so it's, it's uh, and I haven't done cabaret uh, performing in a long time because after that after that club closed, uh -huh. it died. Cabaret uh -huh. died, and then uh, I saw and you on Andy Warhol's thing. Uh, they did a whole thing on Andy Warhol. Uh, Superstar, the movie? Superstar. Yeah. Very good. You were excellent in that. Tell Thank me you. about that, uh, all his friends. Who's some of the people that he really liked See, and didn't like? Did you know? It's very hard because I wasn't really close to Andy, but, I, but Andy was in. You must have heard. Oh, well, yeah. I'm, it's, it's funny. Just before he died, we, we, had, uh, thanks, we spent Thanksgiving together, and it was the first time that I had more than, a, you know, five words, to, you know, in a conversation yep. with Andy. And it was really nice, but uh, Andy was very impressed by um, money. Uh, money. Cornelia Guest. <laughs> he loved Cornelia Guest. Uh -huh. He loved Society Girls. Loved... Why is that? Why did he? He loved money. Yes, he because loved to be surrounded. He was born, you know, poor. into very poor, I don't know, what is Polish, Hungarian, uh -huh. whatever family. That was a wig but he had. That, that was a total wig he had. Oh yeah, it was. Was he bald at all? Or you think? Did I you ever see him without so. the wig? No. Did anyone no ever? One ever? Never. Never. No one has ever seen him without. But I did. I. I there, there was this. I, it was too. He was doing a book signing, and uh, some some girls some uh, pulled off his pulled his wig. wig. Yeah. Well, it's like Jose Hebert without the hat. Oh. oh. I think he sleeps with the hat.
Uh -huh. You know, it's uh -huh. almost the same type of mm -hmm. a thing. It's it's thing. A, an appendage. So Hollywood Long has had a good time. Fifteen yeah. years old. Come on, coming from Miami, going to New York City, tough city. I oh, mean, yeah. you must have. But had I knew the most incredible people in the world, especially during you know the Studio Fifty Four era. The Who were some Stins, of the great the people at Fifty Four? The they were great. They were great. Did you use? Halston. Halston. 54, Annie? Sure, everyone did. Liza. Oh, it was great. Tell but me. Yeah. Have known Liza. Yeah. How, how Halston used to just... Liza loved you. Sequence. Yeah, I mean, it was, we all used to just... Every night, we lived at Studio 54. You know? uh -huh. How about uh, the Kennedys? Did you see him around? That young boy? Willie? Yeah. No, not Willie. Oh. The other one. Oh, John. Uh, John, 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 John. Yes, John, John. John is not little anymore. No. Beautiful. <laughs> he is beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you always in this attire uh, when Ex you go out? Well, when, when I go to the bathroom, when, when I'm shopping at pavilions. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> You're not? You're strictly in your other attire? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. This is too much. I, even though, I mean, even if it is Hollywood. Yeah, so you do do your thing the other yeah. way. So when you're performing on stage, are you without that and then put it on? Or oh, what? no. I mean, you do, I'm, I'm you always come Hollywood alone, yeah. And Wouldn't it be interesting to do a you, one... And your basic cabaret, very com To do comedic. a one-woman or a one-man show as yourself, coming oh, on stage and do it and dressing up as you as running around 15 years old. Go to Kajik Fall and see that. No, 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 that's Gypsy. We don't want that. That's, that's Exactly, I don't and like I don't that. do that, and I don't do that. You don't? No. What do you consider I, I, yourself I, more I have, like you know, Hollywood this is, this is who I am. This is what I am. And uh, first of all, if I'm prettier without all that stuff, so who wants to, who wants to pay? So you don't consider yourself a drag queen or any of that, do you? No, you I consider never like yourself that name, as a, you know, I don't either. Because the word drag itself is so is so demeaning. Uh huh. You know, but uh, you consider yourself as a personality. But yeah, and an artist, and an entertainer, a performer, um, mm -hmm. all of you know, all, all anything that that has to do with creativity. Right. You know, what some of the songs? What some of the songs you were saying? You're saying some of the songs in the show you're doing now. Uh, well, okay, it's 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 very it's a very strange show because it it, it you know um. Uh, God, when people ask me, what do you do? I, I sing. I, I used to be right, of course. Voice. And it's very, uh, lots of comedy, but it's different facets. I also, do, uh, there's lots of drama. Uh -huh. lots, you know, and uh, of course, I bring in my Puerto Rican heritage into it. You do? Oh, yeah. yeah. I have this character. <laughs> you know, right. This right. Oh, we're going. <laughs> we're going. <laughs> so you do a lot of Latin songs. Uh, not a lot of Latin. Just a, just a little Latin song. Kama Miranda type of things, maybe? Oh, the mother of us all. But yes. actually, actually, the mother of me was, <laughs> yeah. was when I was going to, port, when I was going to uh, movies Movie. when I was five years old. My, my favorite actresses were Libertad La Marque, Maria Felix, and Lola Flores, ah. who's, who was to me. Yeah. Spanish. And I grew up with Carmen Miranda. Really demented, you yeah. know, uh, uh, Spanish with the, uh -huh. the castanets and the flamenco. Yes, yes, yes. So these these were the women before the Lana Turners and and all those pagan movies. Right, right. That I, you know, would go home at at, at the age of five mm -hmm. and emu emulate. But then I had uh, I had a uh, an uncle mm -hmm. who was older. Uh, Virgilio, who we called uh, Lupi. Lupi. <laughs> who would Lupi. take me to the movies uh -huh. and I would sit there all day just... Mm. <laughs> when did you discover that you were different than any other boys? Four years old. Really? Three, four, yeah. Is that early, when you discovered? Early on. Oh, yeah. So it's actually, people say they, you know, it's... Your